Don't get me wrong, I adore Mr. Beast in his content. Him and his team definitely try their best to projects that may even lose money, but Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast Gaming is definitely not one of those projects. If you think of gaming, you may think of either skillful gameplay or relaxing or engaging let's play of a video game. The most successful gaming channels like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, or Corey Kenshin definitely pops off. But Mr. Beast Gaming is nothing like them. And another thing to add, this video is just a critic video and a hateful video. Uh, I most certainly enjoy Mr. Beast Gaming content, definitely videos that I would watch out of boredness. But I just would like to see some improvements because the channel feels a little stale nowadays. Mr. Beast Gaming is by the name, gaming, not Mr. Beast Minecraft. If you scroll through the channels, you might see an occasional GTA 5 or sponsored game a few times, but it is no doubt that most of the content is Minecraft. And that's definitely an issue. While other gaming channels, they switch different games once in a while, it's kind of a, like a refreshment. It's like a daily game recommendation. But, like, but with Mr. Beast Gaming, it's just the same game. It gets really boring when you keep watching the same game all over again. It doesn't matter how good the game is or the concept video is, I highly suggest Jimmy to switch things up and start trying other games. Two, the channel has a fair amount of actual gaming content like Jimmy, his friends, or other contestants playing the game. But I can't deny that some of Jimmy's content is just straight up reacting at most times. Like for example, reacting to different buildings or texture packs. Also, it is a game, it is technically gaming content. I just can't acknowledge that this is just reaction content. And don't get me started with donating money to gaming streamer videos. Just because it relates to other gaming content creators doesn't mean that the video itself is gaming content. It's like saying that Mr. Beast um, donating like 50,000 to Ninja is gaming content. You can't see that. You can't see it that way. Again, yes, they do actually make gaming content a few times, but at least they would just add their own twist on this reaction video, it's like an actual game related thing to the idea instead of just reacting. Oh boy, here it is. Let's be honest, we've been noticing a trend of over glorifying thumbnails. Now there's nothing wrong with that, you know, it, the art is purely subjective and stuff. Except for the fact that they use the same picture of a happy go lucky meal in their every video. To give them the benefit of the doubt, thumbnail preferences are an entire fact here so I can't ignore it. Personally, I prefer the sleek and more straight to the point thumbnails that actually converts the idea of the video, you know, like old Mr. Beast thumbnails. Not copying a British kid's thumbnails. I think it's very apparent that if you are famous and you do a minor oopsie like maybe clickbaiting, you are most certainly gonna get away with it as the critics would be buried by the amount of 9 year olds commenting the same copy pasta. For example, a video titled Mining 1 Million Blocks Alone, you might be expecting some challenge video like what he used to make and I can't blame you for thinking that it's such a Mr. Beast idea. But nope, it's a competition video. Jimmy does zero up the mining and at that point it's just straight up clickbait. It's like making a video counting to 100,000 in one city when you made 100 users do it instead of you. Another example is the 1 vs 100 manhunt GTA video when Jimmy's friends are clearly part of the video so it's not really 1 v 100 here isn't it? Another older example is the last to survive wins 100,000 challenge. Natamal says day 2 when the recording probably did even took an hour to do. Now this one is most definitely a stretch but I still nonetheless want to add it here. Imagine this, you are in a competition and you have a chance to win an amount of cash that will change the life of you and your family. And then some random millionaire destroys your dream. That's what I see when a YouTuber wins a community challenge, specifically Sapnap. No hate to Sapnap by the way but... Can they stop including obviously famous and rich YouTubers? Well yes, it is fun for creator engagement and they can donate their meetings to charity. But please remind yourself that a YouTuber is unintentionally destroying less fortunate players hopes to change their lives and support their family. You might say I'm over complicating this whole idea, it's just all for fun, the videos aren't really necessarily serious. There's like 800,000 other users in the server, even excluding the people behind the server. You are a little thought to these people and you get picked out of all of those to compete like 
that is a big opportunity. The chances of you being in a competition is probably near to impossible. And then you get stopped bound by a YouTuber who lives in a mansion and have millions of followers. Uh, am I the only one saying that it's just unfair? Overall, the channel is obviously imperfect. While yes, it has nearly 30 million subscribers, in my eyes, I still see it as some kind of failed experiment by Jimmy and his team. Let's take the main Mr. Beast viewership to Mr. Beast Gaming viewership and we're just gonna round these numbers up. Out of the 100 million users who subscribe, approximately 37% of them actually watched the most recent video. Compare that to 30 million users who subscribed, approximately 20% of them watched the most recent video. While there is some factors like how Mr. Beast is much more extreme and high engaging content, what I want to indicate is the viewer attention to the channel percentage compared. And I am aware that the Mr. Beast gaming channel is mostly just another part of their portfolio of profits to dump into the main Mr. Beast channel. And I have no complaints about that. You know, it's their way of business and it doesn't directly affect the two channels as a whole. I just want to see some more diverse and quality content than another recycled garbage cash grab video. Anyways folks, that's all for this old video essay, complaint, file complaint, whatever. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching.